So today is about tidying up your disk space and uh, one way to do that is eliminating previews that you don't need. I'll let you read through the blog post that is along with this video for some reasons as to why you might want to delete your previews. Um, and the video here is really to show you what needs to be done so that you can make sure the previews are gone and they don't magically come back unless you want them to. So first I got a, a small aperture library here. Let's take a quick peek at what its size looks like. So here we got a little under a gigabyte for an aperture library. Not huge, but you know this will show you the, uh, the before and after pretty well. So deleting the previews uh, is a little in, unintuitive. Uh, there's a few steps that have to be done. Uh, the first thing that we'll do is in the preferences, we will turn off this setting here under the previews tab. This will prevent previews from being generated for any new projects that are created. So any new uh, any new things I import into the library, no more previews. Great, that takes care of new stuff, but you know, what about old stuff? There's a couple of things to do. First, uh, click on the projects you have, and under the gear menu, maintain previews for project. It may be checked, it may be a hyphen, in which case you've got some projects that are uh, generating previews and some that are not. You can do this on a project by project basis, and I'll show a little bit of that later on. So for now, I'm gonna turn this off. That takes care of the projects. So I'm not maintaining previews, so any new adjustments that I make to these projects, to the images in the projects, there'll be no preview updates, and I've turned off the previews for any new projects I might create. Now we have to deal with the previews that are currently in the library. So we'll go over to photos. We can see all the photos in the library. Check to make sure you have your filter turned off so you are indeed showing all the photos in your library. Also, you want to open stacks. If you're using stacks, you want to make sure they're all open. For example, this photo here is in a stack. You can see it's collapsed. And if I don't open all the stacks, when I select all the photos, I'll only be picking the stack pick for this particular one. So check your stacks, open all stacks, that looks great. And then we will go to edit, select all. Uh, I'm gonna pop open my activity window so we can see what happens next. You see what happens in the background here. The last step is go to the photos and delete the previews. And we should see, uh, okay, nice little dialog. And we should see something pop up in the background. Wow, that was so fast. My library is too small. We didn't see anything in activity. That's okay though. Let's see if it made a difference to our uh, aperture library size. Tab over to Finder. And yeah, it's dropped down to 900 megabytes or so. So in this case, maybe about a 10% uh, reduction in the size. So not too bad. You can always generate a preview for the photo you're interested in on demand. So let's take a quick peek at that. Um, uh, that one looks fine. So we'll go to Photos, and I will you know, generate a preview. That shouldn't take long at all. Processing looks like it was very quick and painless. And let's see here. I should be able to drag this over to my desktop. There we go. This one I should not be able to drag because I don't have a preview. So you can see I can't drop this onto my desktop. There's no preview for this picture of uh, these apples on a tree. So. Um, it's very simple to generate a new preview when you need to. Uh, it's actually something that I do with a keyboard shortcut because I'll do it often enough. I'll tell you that here in the customize area. If I search for preview, you can see I have generate previews I've modified to be shift enter. But you know any keystroke that you know works for you can be done here. And that's a quick and handy way. So if I need to do a, a preview like this one, I can do shift enter processing here, it's generating a preview, let's see that, and now I can be able to drag that onto my desktop. Oh, I should show you this too, if you have a project that you're interested in having previews generated for just for that project, let's say this one here, you can go to the gear menu and maintain previews for this project. You can see it's kind of auto selected that for me since I've generated previews here. If I go into that one, you can see that it's off. I haven't maintained it. So you can do this on a project by project basis and that could be handy if you have a, a project where you always want the previews to be generated. Unfortunately, uh, Aperture does not allow previews to be managed and generated on a per album basis. For me that would be ideal 
Now here's to hoping that Aperture 4 could bring that for us. That's it for this time. Hope you found it useful and see you again.